Hi, I'm Somanimus. Today we're going to learn two ways to create platforms. The first one will go left and right, and will switch direction when touching a wall. The second one will follow a path. You can pick the one you need, we'll cover both in 5 minutes. Let's go! Let's start with the horizontal platform. I create a scene of type animatable body 2D, and name it moving platform. First, we need a sprite 2D for our platform. We move our sprite into the texture field. We need a collision for our platform. Let's add a collision shape 2D with a rectangle shape 2D. We also need two sensors, left and right, which will be area 2D. Thanks to the sensors, we can detect if the platform is colliding with a wall. We add a collision shape with a rectangle shape to our left sensor. Then we create our right sensor by duplicating the left one and we move the collision shape to the right side. Now let's create a script for our moving platform. We need a variable for our move speed, which will default to 0.5. You can adjust it later. And we'll need to store our move direction, which will be initially to the left. Let's now move our platform in the physics process function. We're going to use the move and collide function with the move direction multiplied by the move speed. On our platform, we uncheck sync to physics as it can cause issues. And for each one of the sensors, we go to the node tab, then we connect the body enter signal. We need a way to recognize the grounds. To do so, find your ground node, go to the node tab, to groups sub tab, and add a new group named ground. Back to our platform script, we can check if the body is in the group ground, and if it hits the left sensor, we want the platform to move right. We do the same thing for the right sensor. If it hit the right sensor, we want it to go left. Let's put the platform in our scene. I create a parent node, I right-click on my scene and I instantiate my platform. Let's not try it. It works! You can see that the player is subject to the platform physics, so when the platform moves, the player moves along with it. Let's now create our second platform scene. It will also be an animatable body 2D and we'll name it Path Follow Platform. We need a sprite 2D. In its texture field, we'll drag and drop our sprite and we add a collision shape with a rectangle shape. Let's now create a scene for our path. It will be of type Path2D. We'll name it Platform Path. Select your path node, then click on the Add Point button on top, then click on your scene to add the path points. Here's a simple example, but you can add as many points as you want. Then, create a node of type Path Follow 2D. We uncheck Rotate checkbox, as we don't want the platform to rotate around the path. And we also want to uncheck Loop. Otherwise, when our platform reaches the end of the path, it's going to go back to the beginning. So we uncheck it. And now you see that we don't have this problem. Let's instantiate our platform on our Path Follow node. If the platform has a rotation issue, you can fix it by going to your Path Follow Transform and reset the rotation. On the platform, we also want to disable the sync to physics to avoid issues when jumping on the platform. We'll now create a script for our platform. We need a variable for our move speed, a reference to our path follow, which we'll fetch with our getParent method. We also need to store the current direction. It's 1 if we go the normal way, and minus 1 if we go the opposite way. In physics process function, we're going to increment the value of path follow progress by our move speed multiplied by the path direction. We then fetch the path follow progress ratio, and if it has reached one of the edges, 0 or 1, then we want the direction to change, which we do by multiplying it by minus 1. Finally, we instantiate the platform in our scene. And you have it, a platform that follows a certain path and another one that goes left and right until it reaches a wall. If this tutorial was useful, click the like button and subscribe to see more short tutorials like this one. See you soon!